the news, Ukraine rejects offer of humanitarian corridors to Russia. Five soldiers killed in explosion. Manchester City thrashed Manchester United 4-1 to stamp six-point lead at top of table. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you are watching TOS News 360. Ukraine dismissed Moscow's offer to set up humanitarian corridors from several bombarded cities on Monday after it emerged that some routes would lead refugees into Russia or Belarus. The Russian proposal of safe passage from Kharkiv, Kyiv, Mariupol and Somi had come after terrified Ukrainian civilians came under fire in previous ceasefire attempts. A civil society organization under the umbrella body of the Initiative for Citizens' Rights, Accountability and Development has put forward several questions begging for answers after it launched an investigation into suspected fraudulent transactions in the FCT Secondary Education Board Management. Nigerian Army says troops of Operation Hardin Kai eliminated 17 Boko Haram Islamic State West African Provost terrorists in the Masak mobile local government area of Borno State. Theater Commander, Operation Hardin Kai Northeast Joint Task Force Major General Christopher Musa disclosed these in an interview with newsmen on Monday in Meduguri. The Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the All Progressives Congress Monday in Abuja has denied reports making rounds on social media that President Mohamed Buhari had sacked its chairman, Governor Meimala Buni of Yobe State. A statement signed on Monday by the National Secretary of the CECPC, John Akpanu Dehe, titled Fake News, No Leadership Change in APC CECPC, revealed that leadership changes are not announced by sources through name dropping in the media. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has ruled out any plan to defect from the ruling, or ruling party in the state at the weekend. He said the PDP in the state has been fully harmonized, adding that the party's constitution recognizes him as the leader in the state. Obasaki, who spoke during an expanded caucus meeting of leaders and members of the PDP in the state, said, I can't leave PDP. I will not decamp from the PDP. We will always win any election. PDP won in the last election and we will continue to win all elections in the state and country. Nothing will stop us as a party." Unquote. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. Africa business and sports stories when we return. Do stay with us. Thanks for staying. Kenya has declared a yellow fever outbreak after three people died and 15 other suspected cases were detected in the northern county of Isiolo. The health ministry said it would prioritize vaccination in at least another half a dozen neighboring counties that have now been placed on red alert. Equatorial Guinea has announced plans to compensate 107 victims of Amuri blast in the capital, Bata. It was reported that many neighboring residential areas were caught up in the blaze, which was started after a poorly controlled fire spread to the camps Amuri in March 2021. According to the Nigerian Defense Ministry on Sunday, at least five soldiers were killed in an explosion in the southwestern part of the country. It was gathered that the army vehicle the soldiers were traveling in ran over an improvised explosive device in Terodi region in the southwest of the country. And now to business scene, Brent crude oil price has increased to $128.60 per barrel on Sunday, the highest price since 2008 rather, as the market continues to react to supply disruptions from Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine and the possibility of a ban on Russian oil and natural gas. Brent had risen to $139.13 at one point on Sunday before closing at $128.60. Talking sports, Manchester City outperformed Manchester United to maintain control of the Premier League title race with an outstanding 4-1 win at Etihad Stadium. Two goals each from Kevin De Bruyne and Riyad Mahrez ensure the Premier League champions defeated Man United as Jadon Sancho's lone goal was not enough. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African news network. For more updates, 
visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Mesafol Ajinmo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.